Why is Goblin Piledriver never sad? Because he has protection from the blues. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. With free weekly content and free shipping on orders over $150, you can save 5% site wide by using the promo code MTGMUDSTA. If you're looking for a direct way to help the channel, please consider joining my Patreon and becoming a member of the generic Goblin Gang. Hey, gang, and welcome back. Today's game has Mika, Mackenzie, Max, and myself battling it out to see who is the best M name, although I guess myself isn't really my name. Mika has decided to play his Go Shintai deck, keeping Clothis, God of Destiny, Cultivate, Enchantress's Presence, Terramorphic Expanse, Seaside Citadel, Stomping Ground, and Invasion of Theros. Mackenzie is playing his Minx and Boo deck, keeping Cinder Glade, Fraley Supplicant, Forest, Ozolith the Shattered Spire, Chain Reaction, Rampant Growth, and a Proud Wildbonder. I am still trying to test out my Otrimi deck, keeping Breeding Pool, Miss Syndicate Naga, Storm Chaser Drake, Command Tower, Return of the Wildspeaker, Buried Alive, and a Forest. Last but not least, Max has decided to give in to his true nature, which is being a bully, and is playing the Beamtown Bullies. He keeps Mountain, Blood Crypt, Rakdos Carnarium, Ultimate Price, Ruin Grinder, Thrill of Possibilities, and Inverter of Truth. Mackenzie wins the die roll and starts us off. He draws and plays a Cinder Glade. I've just got a tap breeding pool. Max also has a tap Shockland with a Blood Crypt. Mika draws and plays a Terramorphic Expanse. Mackenzie plays a Forest Return after drawing and pays 2 for a Rampant Growth. I play a Forest Return and cast Storm Chaser Drake. Max draws and plays a Forest. He passes while Mika sacrifices the Terramorphic Expanse at the end of turn. Mika draws and plays a Seaside Citadel. Mackenzie's got a Forest for turn and is able to cast Minx and Boo. Making a Boo token as the walker comes in. He then upticks Minx to put 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters onto Boo. Moving to combat, Boo then goes at me and deals 4 and Mackenzie passes. I draw and play a Woodland Cemetery, paying 2 for a Swiftfoot Boots. I equip it to the Drake and then go to combat, and I swing the drake at Minx for 2, and then pass. During my end step, Max casts Thrill of Possibilities, discarding Inverter of Truth and drawing 2. Max just draws, plays a Swamp, and passes. Mika plays a Stomping Ground, shocking himself for 2, and then pays 3 for a Cultivate. He finds a basic for the field, and one for his hand, and passes. Mackenzie draws and plays a forest. He then casts Ozolith the Shattered Spire, and uptakes Minx again on Boo, adding 4 plus 1 plus 1 counters this time around. Moving to combat, Mackenzie swings Boo at Mika, dealing 8, and passing after that. I draw and play a command tower. I then mutate a Trimi onto the Storm Chaser Drake, drawing a card, and then moving to combat. I swing a Trimi at Minx, finishing him off, and then pass turn. During my end step, Max Mountain cycles a Rune Grinder from his hand to go and find a mountain, and then moves to his turn. Max draws and plays a Stinkweed Imp. He then plays a Rakdos Carnarium, bouncing the land back to his hand, and passing. Mika draws, and plays a Plains. He then plays out Felwar Stone, and casts a Collective Restraint with full domain, and passes after that. Mackenzie draws, and casts a Fraley Supplicant. He then plays out Grumgully, and he moves to combat. This time around, Boo gets some revenge for Minx, hitting me for 8 and Mackenzie then passes. I draw and play a Sanctum of Eternity. I then play a Buried Alive, going to find Ivy and some Mutate creatures. I then move to combat and swing Otrimi and Mackenzie in dealing 6 commander damage. I then, catching this now as I'm narrating, incorrectly return Ivy from my hand with the Otrimi trigger as it's only supposed to be a Mutate card. After that, I pass to Max. Max draws and plays the Beamtown Bullies, 
and then plays an evolving wilds and goes to combat. He swings the bullies at me for 4 since they have vigilance and haste, and I take the hit, and he passes. Mika draws and casts Enchantress's Presence, and then plays out Clothis, drawing a card from the Presence. He follows that by playing a Reflecting Pool and passing to Mackenzie. Mackenzie draws and plays a Spire Garden. He then recasts Minx, and in response, Maximus cracks the Evolving Wilds to find a forest. Mackenzie then downticks Minx to throw Boo at the Stingweed Imp, and draws 8 cards, and passes after that. I draw, and play Ivy, and move to combat. I swing out Tree Me at Max for 6, and he responds by giving me Inverter of Truth, exiling my library, and giving me my graveyard as my library. Max still takes the 6 though, I then cast a Black Market Connections, and pass after that. Max dredges 5 with Stinkweed Imp instead of drawing, and then plays a Mountain for turn. He plays a Viridian Reveler, and recasts the Stingweed Imp, and moves to combat. Once more, Max swings the bullies at me for 4 to live up to his name, and he passes after that. Mika exiles a Ruin Grinder with Clothis on his upkeep, and Max responds by activating the bullies to donate it to Mika instead of losing it. Mika then draws her turn, and casts Go Shintai, making a Shrine token and drawing a card. He then follows up with Invasion of Theros, having me defend it, and goes to Tutor Eska, God of the Tree. Going to combat, Mika swings the Ruin Grinder since he has to, at the invasion, and defeats it. Moving to his second main phase, he then casts a Far on the flip side, and plays a Forest, and passes. Mackenzie makes Boo on his upkeep, which enters with two plus one plus one counters thanks to the combination of Gumbelly and the Ozolith. He then draws her turn, and plays a Mountain. He casts a Fractal Harness, and follows it up by activating the Ozolith on Grumgully, and then upticks Minx on Boo. He then uses the Fraley Supplicant to fling Grumgully for half of its power, and take out Max's Stingweed Imp. Mackenzie then suits up Boo with the Fractal Harness, and goes to combat, swinging Boo at Max, but doubling the counters before damage. Maximus then takes a hit for 14, and after that, Mackenzie passes. I draw one of my few cards and make a treasure token with the Black Market Connections. I then mutate Sawtust Demolisher onto a Tree Me and copy it onto Ivy, destroying the Collective Restraint and Viridian Reveler, and giving them beasts instead. Moving to combat, I swing Ivy at Mika and Otrimi at Max, and they both take the 6, and I pass. Max dredges Stingweed Imp for 5 instead of drawing for turn, and replays it in his main phase. Going to combat, Max swings the bullies at Minx to take him out, and passes. Mika exiles the Royal Assassin with Clothis, draining us for 2, and then draws her turn. He plays a Sterling Grove, drawing from his two enchantresses, and then plays a Sarah Sanctum. He then casts Sanctum of Stone Fangs, and making a Shrine token as well. He then taps Sarah's Sanctum to help cast Hondon of Cleansing Fire, and then a Ghost Shintai of Hidden Cruelties, drawing two each time. Moving to combat, Mika swings a lot at Mackenzie, who takes the full hit, and then Mika then moves to his end step. He pays to destroy the Beamtown Bullies with a Ghost Shintai of Hidden Cruelty, and passes. Mackenzie draws, and plays an Exotic Orchard. He then plays a Proud Wild Bonder, and then activates the Ozolith to put two more plus one plus one counters onto Boo. He then swings Boo at Mika, and gets to double the amount of plus one plus one counters on it, taking Mika out. I draw, and make a treasure token from Black Market Connections. I then go to combat, and swing my creatures at Mackenzie to knock him down to 12 and then activate the Sanctum of Eternity to bounce my Otrimi stack back to hand. I then mutate the Sawtust Demolisher onto Ivy, destroying the Fractal Harness and the Ozolith, and then pass turn. On my end step, Max casts a Rushed Rebirth on the Stinkweed Imp, and then casts Ultimate Price to kill it to see what he can tutor up. He's doing this because whether or not it's true, Mackenzie has bluffed some pretty decent protection, and Max is playing around Heroic Intervention to deal with the Boo. 
unfortunately he doesn't have anything, and with no immediate answer for Boo, and knowing that I'm going to lose when I try and draw and fail, we both scooped up to Mackenzie and go to the next game. Game review time. This game was 55 minutes and 32 seconds, and although it's shorter when it's edited, there were a lot of decisions that went into what was going on, and what targets to pick, and so forth and so on. I cut out a lot of that wait time and discussion because, you know, frankly you don't need to see it, and you wouldn't even hear it. Minxed and Boo still continue to dominate so far, I think it's been a 100% win rate, and Mackenzie actually did have the heroic intervention in hand that he showed us after the game, so Maximus playing around it was probably the right move. I was a big fan of that fractal harness, and it's definitely something I want to put into my Helena and Elena deck for the future. Reading the card explains the card, and in this case I would have realized that Otrimi would not have been able to bring back Ivy. Unfortunately this allowed me to blow up at least one other permanent that I shouldn't have, but I definitely would have hit Mika's collective restraint, so at least people would have been able to attack him, and that didn't change too much. The Beamtown bullies have a real reputation, and Maximus's deck, although it didn't do as well, certainly lived up to it with that Inverter of Truth play. It pretty much took me out of the game, as I only had three other cards to be able to play with, and I can see that a lot of people wouldn't necessarily have fun against that kind of deck. Mika's always happy when he gets to play Goshintai, and he actually did get to cast shrines and be able to do some cool stuff with the sanctums, but it wasn't enough to save him. This video wouldn't be possible without the help from my sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc., Multizone, Original Magic Art, and Alter Sleeves. But it definitely wouldn't be possible without the help from you, the viewers, and my patrons. So I just want to say thank you for watching, and to remember, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.